Good evening and welcome to Ben Academy Varsity Girls Basketball Game. Where tonight our Lady Raiders are taking on the Lady St. Aloysius Flashes. That's what they're called, looks like. The Flashes. I know it's going to be hard for me to remember. Got Mr. Wayne Saxton over here giving me the eye. <laughs> Wayne, I'm going to play commercial. you go get your money's worth. Hey, I got an A1 cameraman tonight, Mr. Brian Reynolds on the camera. Brian, lean around and say hello. Lean around and say hello to the camera. <laughs> he don't do that. Huh? <laughs> uh, I don't know anything. Hey, uh, Clayton. These girls pretty good. Have we played them? Were we victorious? We're going to ask somebody to pay attention. All right. I just found out we have played them one time. We were uh, the Lady Raiders were victorious. It's a very close game, so it's going to be an exciting game tonight. Got a pretty good crowd here tonight. The girls are warming up. Uh, if you noticed, I started a little early just so on the junior high boys. We didn't really have the, well, we didn't have any sound on and uh, didn't really follow them, but I'm just uh, making sure everything was uh, going live and all that good stuff. Got Mr. Randy Hill sitting over here, our bus driver and popcorn eater. How's that popcorn night, Randy? They got any Bosco sticks down there? Boy, Gage was upset because they didn't have Bosco sticks the other night. Man, he was looking forward to some Bosco sticks. I told him just go get him some chicken nuggets. He'll be all right. Yeah. <laughs> Clayton, how many seniors do we have on our team? I know Ella, uh, Ella, Ella McCain, and oh, Kay Louise and Jackson. Oh, she not? Oh, I thought. Oh, we got two seniors, Ella McCain and Kay Louise Purvis. Okay. Brian, the first game I ever did this, Kay Louise made a shot. Either two points for Lee Louise Tyndall. <laughs> She graduated with that. And I know, Kayla, I've been knowing her name forever. I just, when you put these headphones on, you forget names. Here, I'm going to let you do the second quarter or second half. I don't know any of <laughs> You can read them off right here. But uh, I do appreciate Brian riding with me tonight. Gage is, uh, he had to work tonight, poor little thing. He had to work today. Ain't that terrible? Yeah, that boy had to work for a living. I feel so sorry for him. Said no one. Said no one. Uh-oh. Got to get my clock right. There it is. We're getting ready to start the game. We want to uh, thank St. Oliver for having us in here tonight and letting us bring this broadcast to everyone. Whether you're at home or... or you watching it the next day. We appreciate it. And the best way to uh, make sure you don't miss anything, hit that like and subscribe button to the uh, to this channel here. This is where all your BA sports will be. That way you don't never miss out. You'll get a notification when it gets ready.
would like to referee. They're getting our captains out here. Captains for the Raiders tonight is Kay Louise Purvis and Ella McCain, our two seniors. And I don't know the young lady for St. Al because she hadn't taken her warm-up top off yet. But the Benton Junior High boys lost, and the Benton Junior High girls lost. So congratulations to the Flashes on their two wins for those two games. Oh, wait. Had the uh, national anthem and the prayer there, and today is December the seventh. I don't know if everybody knows what that stands for. Okay, here we go. Number four, Lindsey Hove, Bend Academy. Number ten, Alan McCain. Number twenty, Sarah Bailey Jackson. Twenty-two, Isabella Magyar. Number twenty-five, Brian Blackstock. Now for the home team, the St. Lada Wishes Flashes. Number four, Maddie McSherry. Number 11, Olivia Larson. Number 13, Mallory Hobson. Number 21, Farrell Robinson. Number 22, Taryn Lusby. To round off their starters. But as I was saying, December the 7th marks a special date. That is the day that Pearl Harbor was attacked. All right, Farrell Robinson and Sarah Bailey Jackson for the tip off. Get to the game started. That will start the game. Brian Blackstock coming down with the ball. Good tip. Shot by Magyar. No good. Rebound by number 22, Taryn Lusby. Lady Flags is coming down. Set up their offense. And working it around. Looking for an open shot. Oh, lost the 
ball. So about Jackson come down with it. Oh, push it a little too hard. Goes out of bounds. So it'll be the Lady Flash's ball. Throwing it in. They got to go the distance of the court now. I come down the other end. Oh, bad pass. Get Ella McCain gets it. Brian Blackstock shoots a three, misses. So Bailey gets it, shoots, misses. <laughs> and Farrell Robinson comes down with the rebound. Looks like we got a foul somewhere. Let's see who. Uh, no, maybe one out of bounds. I don't. I didn't see a foul go up. In the Blackstock, she shoots and scores for the first two of the game. So. My bad, I put that on the wrong side. So the Lady Flash is going to bring it down the court. Pushing down, going to set their offense up. Almost stolen by Maggie R. Picked up by number four. Uh oh, and she, and she lose control of it. Alan McCain is going to bring it down for the Lady Raiders. Pass her up, up. What we got? So, Isabella Maggie all hit the floor pretty hard. She's going to come out just a little bit. Out. <laughs> good. Very good. So, later, right, will be throwing it in. Gives it in to Blackstock. Underneath the purpose. And she puts it in for two. Lady Flash is trying to throw it in under the press. Gets in number 22, Terry Lusby. Throws it. Goes out of bounds. Let's see. Yeah, Lady Raiders knock it out of bounds. So it'll be Flash and Ball. Hard to get them right there, isn't it, Brian? Oh, man. 21, Farrell Robinson was driving to the goal really well. And they say she double dribble. So the Lady Raiders will get the ball. Ella McCain brings it down the court. She's coming down slow. Going to set the... Oh, good. Good steal right there by number 22. Taryn Lusby. Number four takes it down. Maddie McSherry and makes the shot. Great shot right there. Lady Raiders lead by two. Ella McCain pulls up a dribble and Taryn Love it was all over that. We got a jump ball. Possession there is pointing to the Lady Flashes. So here they come, bringing them down the court. Shot by McSherry, no good. Rebounded by Blackstock. She takes it all over to the goal, throws it up, but I believe she got a foul. Let's see if she calls it on. On 22, Taryn Lusby. You see it better now? So Blackstock going to the line. Oh, misses the first one. Gives one more shot. Probably said better right there, huh? Yeah. Blackstock, second shot. Bam, nothing but net. Love's been rain. Uh oh. Love's been rain down and got a walking violation. So the later Raider will get it right there on the side. Throw it in the black stock. Go around, try to pass it underneath. Number 11, Olivia Lawson intercepts it. And she tries to take off too fast and got a walk. But later on, we throw it in upon the own goal. Deflected by number four, Maddie McSherry. Not 
Knocked out of bail. Ella McCain looking to throw it in. Oh! Foul on number 15. Okay, Louise Purvis. Lady Flash is throwing it in. Under the full court press. Long pass. And Blackstock will just let it go out of bounds. So later Raider will get it down here and have to bring it down. So we'll throw it in upon our own goal. Blackstock shoots a three. That's good. <laughs> yeah, Byron, that was Fred. Step on the out of bounds line for the later Raider to get it back. The Flash is just having some unfortunate breaks tonight. Oh, right off the knee, speaking of unfortunate break. Right off the knee of uh, Blackstock. Goes out of bounds. Flash is throwing in. Number 11, Olivia Lawson brings it down. What? They call a walk on her? I said they are. Uh, they're not playing any games tonight. They're gonna call a lot of walks. Black star with the ball. Ladies moving around. Black star takes it all the way in. Shoot, and I believe she draws a foul. <clears throat> but they're going to call it on number 13 <coughs> Mallory Hobson that's her first foul send Blackstock to the line shooting two. Oh, got a shooter's roll on that one got one more Didn't get the roll on that one. Uh-oh, did he get the rebound back? And it looked like it went out of bounds on the Raiders for me too, but... Got, got another foul on 15, K. Louise Purvis. That's her second one. out of bounds by Sarah Baylor Jackson. So it'll still be the flash of the ball right here on the side. Trying to get it in. Intercepted by Ella McCain. And she's going to take it all the way to the goal. Shoots. No good. Rebound by Sarah Baylor Jackson. She puts it up. I believe she draws a foul by number 13, Mallory Hobson. I think that's going to be her second foul. Shooting two. First one is good. So we got a timeout. As we do, we'll take time to hear from our sponsors. We'll be right back. The Benton Academy Booster Club is proud to support all Benton Academy athletics. They are proud to have teamed up with loyal Raider fans raising funds for, among other things, weight room equipment for boys and girls sports, new scoreboards, and a new time clock on the football field. If you're interested in becoming a member of the Booster Club or would like to donate to help with any future projects involving athletics at Benton, contact the high school. Go Raiders from the Benton Academy Booster Club. Club. All right, second shot for Sarah Bailey now. 
and it goes in. In the game now, Maggie Hollander, number 33. She came in for Mallory Hobson. That was in a little foul trouble. Yeah, looks like we got another foul on the Lady Raiders right there. I believe it's going, oh, this is on number 10. That's Ella McCain, her first foul. Good shot. Shot by number 21, Farrell Robinson was off. Rebound by Ella McCain. Shot by Black Knight. Off. So better Jackson gets it. Shoot. Misses. Rebound by number 21. That's Hobson. No, no. I'm lying. That's, that's Robertson. She shoots. Misses. Rebound by number 22. Lovely. She puts it up and gets fouled as she does. And she will be shooting too. First shot was good by Taryn Lusby. Gets set for her second shot. Nice looking free throw, just rolled off. So Alan McCain will bring it down now. Pass the hose. Back out to Blackstock. Purvis drives in, shoot. No good. Rebound by number four, Maddie McSherry. Uh, oh, foul on number four right there. Whoa, wait, whoa, whoa. Oh, that must have been on them. Maddie McSherry, that's her first foul. The Lady Raiders got on the side. They're bringing it down. Stolen by number 22, Terry Lovey. Takes it down, and... Maggie comes flying up behind her and taps it out at the last second. So it will be the flash of ball, latest flashes, throwing into Lusby. She shoots. Ooh, no good. Rebounded by number four, Hogue. She dishes off to Blackstock. Ellen Kane takes it in. She loses it. And we had a jump ball on Maggie Hollander and Hogue. So that's another point to the flashes. <clears throat> Good hustle by Maggie. All right, thrown into number 11, Olivia Lawson. <clears throat> Maggie all come flying up behind her again. Taps it out. She really hustles on defense. I like that. I love hustle. Gets it in. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm dealing with a cold. Got it in, and it went back out on the Lady Raiders, so now they bring it, set it up. There's a shot, three pointer, and it is good. I think that's number 22, Lusby. Taryn Lusby with a fine three point shot. Lady Raiders working around. Purvis takes a three-point shot. No good. Rebounded by Ho, but it was knocked out of bounds. She loses control of it. Will be the Lady Flash's ball. Going to the other end. Has in the love beat. She gets it down to Larson. Larson takes it to the goal. Shoots. Misses. Rebounded by number 21, Farrell Robinson. She busts it up and gets a draws a foul. So she'll be shooting too. Pretty exciting game, huh? Mm-hmm. 
First shot. Ooh, oh, barely. That's number 21, Farrell Robinson. Shooting a free throw. She's got one more. The flash of the lead. Trail by five. There's a shot. Ooh, in and out. Rebounded by who? Gives it over to Ella McCain. She takes it down. A good hustle by Robinson. She almost stole that ball. Ho picks it up. Shoot. No good. Rebounded by number 21, Farrell Robinson. Passes off to Lusby. Ooh, three-point shot. No good. Rebounded by Maggie Howland. She puts it up for two. Forward and three. Out of bounds on the Lady Raiders. We will be going back to the Lady Flashes under a full court press. Gets it in. Good pass right there under the basket. Shot by Larson is all rebounded by Sarah Bailey Jackson. They did very well on uh, breaking the press that time. Ho drives in, she shoots off. So everybody Jackson gets it, puts it up for two. That's the first time we scored in a, in a while. I don't know if it, she held it too long or what. I don't see what happened. Ooh, almost stolen by Robinson. Said so better Jackson get a shoot. No good. Maggie gets a shoot. No good. Out of bounds. Ah, say <laughs> We don't have the angle they got. <laughs> it looks like it went out on the later Raider, but but they closer to it than we are. So later Raiders will have it upon their own goal. Maggie puts it up. No good. She gets her own rebound. Try to get it underneath. The flash and steal it. Go to the other end of the court. Shoot. And I believe she got fouled. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I think Isabella, Isabella do her head like that. She looked just like her mom when she did that. Yeah. So to the line of Tan Lusby. Perfect free throw right there. She shoots a good free throw. Love the biggest one more. Good. I told you, that girl shoots a free throw. Pull the back within three. Jackson shoots and scores underneath for the Lady Raiders. And that will do it for the end of the first period. Great job by the Lady Raiders and the Lady Flashers. Five-point game. Hey, we'll be right back. I'm going to give you a phone number because if you ever find yourself on the side of the road due to engine troubles or accident and you need a tow, you'll be glad to have it. I'm Chad Stevens of Chad Stevens Record Service. It's 662-755-8645. We're here 24-7. I'm proud to say that AAA has ranked Chad Stevens Record Service one of the best in the entire country. Why? We have high ethical standards. We're prompt and efficient. So keep my number in your phone, 662-755-8645. That's Chad Stevens Record Service. Since 2007, Bill and Lynn Coleman have been sending the smell of perfectly cooked steaks wafting through Benton, courtesy of Coleman Steakhouse. Start your weekend off the right way by heading that direction and enjoying a perfectly cooked ribeye, filet, pork chop, or anything on their menu, including burgers, chicken, or catfish. Why not make your steak dinner a surf and turf by adding shrimp? Go Raiders from everyone at Coleman Steakhouse on Highway 16 in Benton.
All right, back here in Vicksburg at St. Al. The possession there, point to the Lady Raiders. So, bam, here we go, starting the second quarter. Period, whatever you want to call it. Lady Raiders setting up the offense. Ho looks underneath. Oh, deep. Stolen by number 21, Farrell Robinson. Ah. Got a little excited. Throw it a little too far. I tell you, these ladies are playing well tonight, though. Shot that's going to be off by number 25, Blackstock. We put it up again, miss it. Manny McSherry comes down to, with the rebound, brings it down for the Lady Flatters. Three point shot right there by number 22, Terrence Lusby. No good. Brent Blackstock gets it. She brings it all the way down, puts it up as she goes down. She's good about driving in there and drawing the fouls now. She's going to get those. Looks like it's on number 22, Terrence Lusby. Her second foul. Two shots. First one is nothing but net. Put the Lady Raiders up by six. Second one rolls in for Blackstock. It's going to be a jump ball. I'm sure it's going to be the Flash's ball. Because it was pointing to us early. Huh? Oh. <laughs> so Lady Flash will bring it down. It's number 15 in now. I don't even have her on my uh, roster. I do apologize to her. She gets it in 21, Robinson. Oh, stolen by Sir Baylor Jackson. Stolen back by Larson. She said, not today. Shot. By Larson, no good. Rebounded by number 10, Alan McCain. Magar is going to shoot. And get fouled. I think it's by number 21. We'll see, yep, by 21. Uh, Farrell Robinson, that's her first foul. So she'll be getting two shots. Now y'all shoot. First one is good. Second shot by Magyar. Ooh, from the rim. Rebounded by Hallander. Maggie flies over, knocks it out of bounds, so Flash will be throwing it in. Got to go to the court, under full court press. Ah, Phil Robinson hit her, got to hit and bounce off, goes out of bounds, so it'll be the later Raiders ball now. Sarah Baylor Jackson shoots no good. Rebounded by Ella McCain and Maggie Hollander. So it'll be a jump ball. Hey Byron, I think you're thinking about Roscoe P. Cole Train Dog. His name was Flash. Inbound play up on their own goal. And Blackstock takes it all the way in for two points. I didn't see what happened. Uh, must be our ball again. It must, Lady Flash must have knocked it out of bounds. I don't know. And we got a travel on Blackstock. That'll be Lady Flash's ball on side. Take it down under a full court press. 
Oh, that's going to be a foul on number 25, Brand Blackstock. I believe, yep, that's her first foul. So in the Highlander, she takes all over to the goal, shoots, no good. Ella McCain comes down with a rebound. 25, Black Star shoots, no good. Uh, I think she got a foul. She's going to get three free throws. That's on number four, Maddie McShay, her second foul. First one, no good. Second shot. Bottom. Right back up by 11. Get one more free throw. Oh, off. Rebound. Well, we had it for a second. But number 15 for the Lady Flash to get it. Oh, intercepted. She tried to pass in. Intercepted by Blackstock. Takes it all the way in for the layup for a two points. Lady Flash trying to get it in. Oh, taken away by who? She passes to McCain. Oh, she tried to get it inside. It was deflected. She got her own uh, deflection. Took it in. Shoot. Misses. Goes out of bounds. So we got time out. We'll be right back. Fruits and more, a retail shop for decor. It's all at Coors Country Market in Denton. They have vegetables, seasonal plants, and gifts, and they bring in new inventory every week. For all of your deer processing needs, it's the Rack Shack. Both businesses are family owned and operated, and they take great pride in giving you the best experience you can ask for when you walk through their door. Go Raiders from everyone at Coors Country Market and the Rack Shack. All right, Lady Flash is getting ready to throw it in. Here we go. On the other end of the court. Number 15. I'll try to get her name at halftime. Oh, man. Off her hand. Out of bounds. Is the Lady Raider the ball? All right. We got Anna Page. Anna Page in. Let's see. Jackson shoes no good. Shot by number 15. No good. That is Anna Page beef I was talking about. I get to watching the game. I got to uh, think about it a second. Says number 15 to the line. She'll be shooting two. Oh, uh, maybe three. I think shooting three, ain't she? First one, no good. Second shot. Perfect. Third shot. Oh, almost rolled in there. Rebound by Robinson. She puts it up, misses. 
Maggie Arm brings it down the court. Shot by, oh, Blackstock, no good. Ho gets it, puts it up, no good. Rebounded by number 21, Farrell Robertson. Miss Handles, a ho gets it. Uh oh, back the other way. That's number four. Maddie McSherry comes up with the ball. And I believe we got a foul. Number 25. Ren Blackstock, that is her second foul. Purvis comes in for Hope. Make sure he throws it in. <laughs> good, good pick right there by McSherry. Shot, no good by the flashes. <laughs> These girls, I tell you what, they tickle me. <laughs> All right, Blackstock brings it down the court for the later Raiders. Stolen by number 15. She shoots three pointer, no good. Oh. <laughs> Isabella almost put her head in that wall. I'm sure glad she didn't. She might have hurt that wall as hard as that head is. <laughs> I'm just playing Isabella. So Lady Flash throw it in. Hobson brings it around. Jump ball by number, both number 15. That is uh, K. Louise Purvis and number 15 for the Lady Flash. I will have her name after halftime. I do apologize, but it just wasn't on the uh, book. Inbound it to number 21. She shoots, no good. So knocked out of bounds by the Flashes, so it would be the Raiders ball. It's a whole lot less stressful when you don't have somebody playing in it. You kind of laugh at it, don't you? Uh, yeah. <laughs> we did our hog when our kids were coming over, didn't we? Out of bounds, so McCain will be throwing it in. Gets it in the black stock. Oh, she shoots a three and gets packed hard by Maddie McSherry, number four. McCain be throwing in again. Oh, we got a push on number 15. K. Louise Purvis. That will be her third foul. Now we'll have a time for our commercial. We'll be right back. <laughs> Hannah's Appliances, Yazoo City's only full-time appliance store. They offer both new and pre-owned appliances from refrigeration and gas and electric ranges to laundry products, dishwashers, and over-the-range microwaves. Their motto, the customer's rule. They're here to serve and meet the needs of the consumers in Yazoo City and the surrounding areas. Go Benton Academy Raiders from everyone at Hannah's Appliance, located at 411 South Industrial Parkway. All right, 2.32 to go before halftime. I did. It's a heated game. It's a good game. You got fans hollering on both sides, you know. This, but we, we got to remember this is a game. I had to tell myself that when my, my kids were playing, but oh well. Hey, I love it. I love it. Lady Flash, throw it in at number 15. And she's going to take it all the way for the duck. Oh, she gets her own rebound. She puts it up. 
Finally, Sarah Bader Jackson comes down with it, and something happened. Let me look down here and see what happened. <coughs> Mallory Hobson with her third foul. And we'll be shooting now. <laughs> Gage is watching. He said, uh, tell Uncle Brian to do better. <laughs> Sarah Battle Jackson. Oh, no good. So in comes a couple subs for the flashes. One more shot. Second shot, short. So it'll be the flashes ball. Break the press. Here they come down the court. Oh. And Ho knocks it out of bounds. So we'll be the flashes ball. Gets it in. Work around. She takes a three-point shot. It's no good. Yeah, I know, Gage. So we throw it in. Ella McCain is going to bring it down the court for the Lady Raiders. Oh, tries to get it underneath. Knocked away. Outside of the better Jackson. Shoot. No good. Rebounded by number 11, Olivia Larson. She takes it all the way to the goal for the layup. No good. And she holds it back. Sarah Bailey got the rebound. Larson holds it back. And uh, she got the jump ball. But it's pointing to the Lady Raiders. So here we go back down the court. Black start with the ball. She wants to drive it in. She picks it up. Throws it in. Jackson, Jackson takes it to the goal and scores. Lady Flash is looking deep. Looking deep. Number 33. Three Hallander down there waiting. She's layup. No good. Black start going to take it all the way to the goal. Shoot. And she made it. I don't know how, but she made it. <laughs> Did they call the basket good? What they call? Oh, my bad. That was charging, wasn't it, Brian? That was charging on number 25. They call it charge. Huh? Huh? No. I call a charge on uh, Blackstock. <laughs> so that's that's what happened. Took the points off. Lady Flash has got the ball. Stolen by McCain. Blackstock shoots a three. No good. Rebounded by number 22, Taryn Lusby. Gets it down to McSherry. She shoots no good. And Hallander come down with us. She's trying to put it up. They're all over. They called a walk on Hallander. So it'll be the Lady Raiders ball. You got to bring it down the court. About 40 seconds left on the clock for halftime. Ah, she tried to get it into Hogue and bad pass. Lady Flash will throw it in under a full court press. Gets it into Hollander. Ah. She tried to swap hands as she walked. Swapping hands ain't easy as it looks. I never could drill with my left hand very well. 
Uh oh. Black Sox use a three. No good. Rebounded by number 21, Farrell Robinson. Ah, uh, called a walk. Called a walk. On the Lady Flashes. Lady Ray will be thrown in on the side. Gets in the Magyar. In and out, in and out. So it will be. So it will be the Lady Flashes ball. <laughs> I know I did too. She's a three. No good. And that will do it for, for the first half. 25 to 11, the Lady Raiders. We'll be right back for the exciting second half. Don't go anywhere. Be right back. CB Satellite Service offers free installation on both internet and dish network. Owner Charles Breland has been at it since 1995, and when you have a question, you can call him directly. Charles can also offer you satellite internet for as low as $35 per month. Give him a call. He can hook you up, literally. CB Satellite Service is your local, dependable provider. The Benton Academy Booster Club is proud to support all Benton Academy athletics. They are proud to have teamed up with loyal Raider fans raising funds for, among other things, weight room equipment for boys and girls sports, new scoreboards, and a new time clock on the football field. If you're interested in becoming a member of the Booster Club or would like to donate to help with any future projects involving athletics at Benton, contact the high school. Go Raiders from the Benton Academy Booster Club. I'm going to give you a phone number because if you ever find yourself on the side of the road due to engine troubles or accident and you need a tow, you'll be glad to have it. I'm Chad Stevens of Chad Stevens Record Service. It's 662-755-8645. We're here 24-7. I'm proud to say that AAA has ranked Chad Stevens Record Service one of the best in the entire country. Why? We have high ethical standards. We're prompt and efficient. So keep my number in your phone, 662-755-8645. That's Chad Stevens Record Service. Since 2007, Bill and Lynn Coleman have been sending the smell of perfectly cooked steaks wafting through Benton, courtesy of Coleman Steakhouse. Start your weekend off the right way by heading that direction and enjoying a perfectly cooked ribeye, filet, pork chop, or anything on their menu, including burgers, chicken, or catfish. Why not make your steak dinner a surf and turf by adding shrimp? Go Raiders from everyone at Coleman Steakhouse on Highway 16 in Benton.
fresh fruits and more. A retail shop for decor. It's all at Coors Country Market in Denton. They have vegetables, seasonal plants, and gifts. And they bring in new inventory every week. For all of your deer processing needs, it's the Rack Shack. Both businesses are family owned and operated, and they take great pride in giving you the best experience you can ask for when you walk through their door. Go Raiders from everyone at Gore's Country Market and the Rack Shack. Hannah's Appliances, Yazoo City's only full-time appliance store. They offer both new and pre-owned appliances from refrigeration and gas and electric ranges to laundry products, dishwashers, and over-the-range microwaves. Their motto, the customer's rule. They're here to serve and meet the needs of the consumers in Yazoo City and the surrounding areas. Go Benton Academy Raiders from everyone at Hannah's Appliance, located at 411 South Industrial Parkway. CB Satellite Service offers free installation on both internet and dish network. Owner Charles Breland has been at it since 1995, and when you have a question, you can call him directly. Charles can also offer you satellite internet for as low as $35 per month. Give him a call. He can hook you up, literally. CB Satellite Service is your local dependable provider. The Benton Academy Booster Club is proud to support all Benton Academy athletics. They are proud to have teamed up with loyal Raider fans raising funds for, among other things, weight room equipment for boys and girls sports, new scoreboards, and a new time clock on the football field. If you're interested in becoming a member of the Booster Club or would like to donate to help with any future projects involving athletics at Benton, contact the high school. Go Raiders from the Benton Academy Booster Club club. I'm going to give you a phone number because if you ever find yourself on the side of the road due to engine troubles or accident and you need a tow, you'll be glad to have it. I'm Chad Stevens of Chad Stevens Record Service. It's 662-755-8645. We're here 24-7. I'm proud to say that AAA has ranked Chad Stevens Record Service one of the best in the entire country. Why? We have high ethical standards. We're prompt and efficient. So keep my number in your phone, 662-755-8645. That's Chad Stevens Record Service. Since 2007, Bill and Lynn Coleman have been sending the smell of perfectly cooked steaks wafting through Benton, courtesy of Coleman Steakhouse. Start your weekend off the right way by heading that direction and enjoying a perfectly cooked ribeye, filet, pork chop, or anything on their menu, including burgers, chicken, or catfish. Why not make your steak dinner a surf and turf by adding shrimp? Go Raiders from everyone at Coleman Steakhouse on Highway 16 in Benton. All right, getting ready to start the third quarter. Here in an exciting game here at St. Al. St. Aloysius here in Vicksburg, Mississippi. All right, let's see if we can get this game started back. Who's going to get the ball? See which way the possession arrow is pointing. And it will be going to the full. Uh, which way are we going? Oh, the Lady Flashes. That's what I thought. Getting ready to start this third quarter. Here we go. Oh, oh, almost stolen by Hall. Skip pass. Hobbs and shoot. Deflected by Purvis. Picked up 
by Jackson. Gives the ball to Black Star. She brings it down. Shot by Purvis. Oh, no good. Rebound by number 13, Mallory Hobson. Lady Flash take it down. Oh, almost stolen by Jackson. Farrell Robinson shoots. No good. Knocked out of bounds. Oh, no. That's a foul on number 13, Mallory Hobson. I'm sorry. That's her fourth foul. And she will come out. Number 33. Maggie Hollander comes in for her. And number 15 that was in earlier is Megan Taro. They told me how to say it. Megan, I apologize. Blackstock takes it in for the shot. And it's no good. That'll make it Terrio. I got it right now. First shot by Blackstock is no good. Get one more shot. Oh, that's a foul on number 22. That's her third one, that's what it was. Second shot, no good either. Rebounded by McSherry. She brings down, gets it inside. Back out to Larson. Larson shoots. No good. Rebounded by Purvis. She brings it around, gets the black stock, pass to Maggie R. Maggie R. shoots, and looks like she got fouled. Basket is good. And that was on number 11, Olivia Larson. That's her first foul. <clears throat> so Maggie R. will get the and one here. Perfect. Lady Flash is bringing it in, bring it down. Number four brings it all the way down. Oh man, off the rim. A good job by Maddie McSherry. Just didn't fall for her. Black Star comes down for the shot, and I think she gets fouled by number four, Maddie Mc, McSherry. That's her third foul. Blackstock going to the line. She'll be shooting two. First one is nothing but net. Second shot on the way. And it's perfect as well. Lady flashes. Bring it down. Ah, oh, man, lost control of it. Goes out of bounds. Will be the Lady Raider ball going back the other way. These, just, these girls just get a little too fast for themselves. And uh, they kind of outrun the ball or throw it a little too far. Get in a little bigger hurry, but that's okay. Maggie R takes it in, pass it, ooh, tries to get it inside, knocked away. Uh-oh, who did we get a foul on? 25, Brand Blackstock. That's her fourth foul. Lady Flash to get it in. Drive down the court hard. Number 21 takes it in, shoots and misses. Rebounded by Purvis. Gets into Maggie R. She puts it up. And the basket is good. That's how you do it without putting it on the floor. Now, once you put it on the floor, they're on you. Good job right there. Maggie R. Shooting the and one. Oh, no good. From the rim. So the Lady Flashes will take it back down the court. Shot by 
McSherry, no good. Rebounded by Blackstock. Three point shot by Purvis, no good. Rebound is. I know 22, Lusby. She's shoot, no good. Ah, get it down the court. Jackson wide over, just a little too hot to handle. So it'll be the flashing ball all the way down the court. They got to let it go out of bounds. I'll uh, bring it back down here since no one touched it. The Lady Raiders will have it up on their own court. I mean, own basket. At their end of the court. Maybe that's what I was trying to say. What am I trying to say here? In the hoag. To Magyar. She dishes back out. The Blackstock shooting no good. Ah, uh, that's going to be a foul on Magyar. She was on her back. That's her second foul. Lady Flash is taking down the court. Ooh, stolen by Magyar. She's going to slow it down. She was starting to go for the fast break. She slowed it down. In the purpose. She, and she scores. Time about white. Hey, we're going to be right back with our sponsors. Here we go. The Lady Flash would take it all the way down the court. Full court press. Doing pretty good breaking it. Make sure he shoots. No good. Rebounded by. That's going to be a jump ball. And the possession arrow is pointing to the Lady Raiders. They'll have it on the side. Oh, try to get it inside to Purvis. Comes all Purvis and will be Lady Flashes. We got a foul there. Let's see who is on. That's on 21, her second foul. Do we have a 21? Oh, no, that was on them. My bad. Farrell Robinson. I was trying to see who was on. I couldn't tell. I just saw bodies flying. Got a jump ball. Good hustle there by Taryn Lusby. Lady flashes. Got to take it down the court on the full court press. Oh, oh. Tries to get it inside and knocked out of bounds by Hogue. So, Lady Flash will have it on the front of the own goal now. Throwing it in. Oh, she gets fouled. Let's throw it in. To number 21, Farrell Robinson. She shoots and immediately gets fouled by number 20. Sarah Bella Jackson, that's her second foul. Farrell Robinson coming to the line, be shooting two. First one is no good. 
Got a little back iron on that one, did you? Man, you can talk basketball. Here, you do this one. You do this corner. Oh, no good. Rebounded by number four, McSharon. She puts it in for two. Hey, if I get at least ten texts that say they want Brian Reynolds to, to do some commentating on here, I'll, I'll give him the headphones for at least a minute. But I got to have ten texts from different people. <laughs> Brian, you got to do it now, Faith. We get 10 texts. I ain't going to do it. Come on, man. All you got to do is talk basketball. That's all I'm doing. They throw it in. The Lady Raider steals it. Black Star got the ball. She pulls up for a three-pointer. No good. Rebounded by number 23, L. And that's all it says. L, I apologize. That's all that's, all that's on the books with her. She's probably a ninth grader. Black Sox throws it in. Rejected by the Lady Flashes. So they're going to get the ball and move it down the court. Number 22. Lusby takes it all the way to the goal. Misses the layup. But she had a lot of pressure on a lot of people everywhere. So, was that a foul on someone? I don't know what happened. The lady flash got the ball. Shoot, no good. Oh, what a collision. Good pass right there by Blackstock. Ho shoots, misses. Rebounded by Maggie. Oh, she shoots and she didn't miss. She put it in for two. Good hustle by Jackson. Still the lady flashes ball. Trying to get it in. There it go. 22 takes it all over down the court. Shoot. Gets packed by Jackson. Lady Raider had the ball. Purvis takes it all the way in for the layup. And gets fouled. So who she got fouled by? By number 22, Tan Lusby. That's her fourth foul. Two shots for purpose. First one is nothing but net. Second shot from purpose. Good. Lady Flash is throwing in. They're going to work it down the court. Ah, stolen by Jackson. She tries to pass it out to Blackstock. He's got a foul on number 21, Farrell Robinson. Robertson. Make sure I'm saying her name right. Back in the game with Megan Terrio. Freshman. Jackson shooting two. No, one and one. He's a one and one. First one is good. <laughs> Second shot is good. Flash is throw it in. Stolen by Blackstock. Uh, white 15. Oh, okay. With a block. Megan Terrio with the foul. That's her second foul. First shot is good by. What's up, bud? Yeah. How you doing? Right. I called him. I said, Dad, I need you to get here. Mark, okay. Nice to meet you. I said, I'm pretty sure we're related to some of these people. You need to get up here. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
Oh, well. Uh, I don't know who shot them. Rebounded by the Lady Raiders. Oh, I hadn't even. Let's see. Shot by Blackstock. I apologize. I'm talk, talking to some of my Kent folks up here. So, inbound play. Lady flashes. Take it to the other end of the court. Ah. Stolen by Blackstock. She might have stepped on a. We'll get a foul here. Foul on number four, Maddie McSherry. That's her fifth. Oh, that's her fifth foul. She said it's not, but. They had it on the scoreboard. I'm just going by what's on the scoreboard. She said that's her fourth foul. I'm going to check the books. I'm sure she probably knows. She knows how many fouls she's got. Hey. No, uh -uh. First shot is good by Blackstock. So come back into the game, number 22, Taryn Lusby. Blackstock got one more free throw. And a shot is good. Lady Flashes going to take it down the court. Shot by number 15. Ooh, it's off. Shot right there by Megan Terrio. No good. If uh, the girls are all over the floor, must have touched one of the uh, Raiders. So it's Lady Flashes ball. She gets it in. Terry off setting up her offense. I tried to get it inside. Maguire deflects it back to her though. Oh man, calls a walk on those 22. Karen Lovey, walking violation. They pretty tough on that walking stuff tonight. Some of our I've seen, some of it have happened. Blackstock brings it down, has the hoe. Maguire, Maguire drives in. This is over to Jackson. Good job right there for two points by Sarah Bader Jackson. Good pass by Maggiar. Shot by number 22. No good. She follows the rebound. That's how you follow your rebound. I think shoots and gets blocked. Shot by number 21. No good. Rebound by Blackstock. Good pass right there to Jackson. Ho gets it, puts it up. Come back down. It's going to be a jump ball, it looks like. <laughs> so, Lady Raiders ball up under the own goal. Throw it in. Ho. Oh, oh gives it back to Blackstock. Going to be foul on number 21, Farrell Robinson. Robertson. That's her fourth foul, it says. So Blackstock will be shooting two. First one is nothing but net. Second shot, bottom. Lady Flash is bringing it down.
Tail pass to Larson. Oh, runs out of time. At the end of the third quarter, 47-13, Lady Raiders will be right back. Fresh fruits and more, a retail shop for decor. It's all at Coors Country Market in Denton. They have vegetables, seasonal plants, and gifts, and they bring in new inventory every week. For all of your deer processing needs, it's the Rack Shack. Both businesses are family owned and operated, and they take great pride in giving you the best experience you can ask for when you walk through their door. Go Raiders from everyone at Gore's Country Market and the Rack Shack. Hannah's Appliances, Yazoo City's only full-time appliance store. They offer both new and pre-owned appliances from refrigeration and gas and electric ranges to laundry products, dishwashers, and over-the-range microwaves. Their motto, the customer's rule. They're here to serve and meet the needs of the consumers in Yazoo City and the surrounding areas. Go Benton Academy Raiders from everyone at Hannah's Appliance, located at 411 South Industrial Parkway. All right, we're getting ready to start the fourth quarter. The Lady Flashes will be starting it off. McSherry back in the game. Shot by number 22, no good. Rebounded by Purvis. Oh, she loses control of it. Nobody can hold on to it. Somebody greased the ball up. All right, Lady Raiders got the ball back. Finally got in control. Sarah Bailey Jack shoots. No good. Purvis with the rebound. Puts it up. No good. Rebounded by number three. Hallander. <laughs> Gonna be a jump. I tell you, them girls, <laughs> they get feisty. Shot by Blackstock. No good. Rebounded. Has another jump ball. Nope, that's not a jump ball. I think she might have called a foul. Oh, I don't know what she called. I don't see a number going up, so it must have been a jump ball. Twenty-two takes it in, shoots no good. Rebounded by Jackson. Oh, stolen by number twenty-two right there. Lovely. She takes it around. Uh, I can't tell what happened. Bodies everywhere. Maggie gets the ball, shoots, and she gets. Put the old tomahawk chop on her. <laughs> that was on number 11, Olivia Larson. That's her third foul. Send Maggie out to the line shooting, too. First shot. Good. Backyard gets set for the second one. Oh, in and out. Knocked out of, oh, was it knocked out of bounds? Number 20, uh, Sarah Bader Jackson, that's her third foul. And I think the referee gave the coach a warning over here for St. Isle, I'm not sure. She might have been giving me a warning. I don't know. Shot by number 22. No good, but I think she got fouled while she was doing it. That's Lusby. Taryn Lusby be going to the line. That's a foul on Brand Blackstock. Her fifth foul. And she is out of here. Anna Page Beef coming to the game now for her. 
First shot by Lovey. Oh, bounces around and bounces off the right side. How do I not have my clock right? I got to get a lot of time off of that. Oh, it's a running clock. No wonder my climb was off. Second shot, no good. Rebounded by Purvis. I, I get, I'm about a minute off on my clock. I apologize. In the Purvis, she shoots and scores. Who made that shot? Who made that shot? 22 made it. That's Taryn Lusby. I, I apologize, Taryn. I was uh, getting my clock fixed. Lusby takes all the way down for the layup. Misses. Lawson gets the rebound, tries to put it up and gets fouled by number 22. Isabella Maggiar, that's her third foul. The shot by Larson. Oh, no good. The clock is still running. That's, that's what messed me up. The clock was running and I, I didn't know it was a running clock. Second shot, Larson is good. Good shot right there. Ellen McCain brings it down. The beef. Gets it in the purpose. This is out to McCain. Shoots no good. Rebounded by Jackson. She shot no good. Got her own rebound. Shot again and made it. Loves to bring it down. McSherry. Comes out to Hobson. To Larson for a three-pointer. Oh, no good. Rebounded by Purvis. Stolen by McSherry. She takes it down for two points. Good job by Maddie McSherry. Goes out of bounds on a lady flash. So the lady Raider will be throwing it in on the side over here. Ow. Maggie Art dribbles around. Jackson shoots. No good. Rebounded by Larson. Ah. Gets knocked out of bounds on the Raiders, so it'll be flashing ball, throwing in. They're going to take it down the court. Number 10, shoots no good. Rebounded by Hobson, puts it up. No good. Out of bounds on the Raiders, so it'll be a flashing ball. And we've got a timeout. They will stop it there. And we'll be right back after our sponsor. CB Satellite Service offers free installation on both internet and dish network. Owner Charles Breland has been at it since 1995, and when you have a question, you can call him directly. Charles can also offer you satellite internet for as low as $35 per month. Give him a call. He can hook you up, literally. CB Satellite Service is your local, dependable provider.
uh, my volume went on. Man, I'm doing some of my best talk, too. Thank you, Tommy. Let me know my volume went on. The clock is ticking. Number 14 is shooting. Don't have her name on the roster. First one is short. She'll get one more, though. That's okay. She's going to make this one what? It is. Oh, rolls off. Rebounded by Purvis. Purvis shoots and scores. And that is going to be the end of the game. Lady Raiders of course, 54 19. Very hard fought game by the Lady Flashes. They didn't they didn't score a whole lot, but I'm tell you what, they are a feisty team. They hustle well, I like that. So give us a minute, we'll be right back and we will get the high school boys going. We'll be right back. The Benton Academy Booster Club is proud to support all Benton Academy athletics. They are proud to have teamed up with loyal Raider fans raising funds for, among other things, weight room equipment for boys and girls sports, new scoreboards, and a new time clock on the football field. If you're interested in becoming a member of the Booster Club or would like to donate to help with any future projects involving athletics at Benton, contact the high school. Go Raiders from the Benton Academy Booster Club. Club. I'm going to give you a phone number because if you ever find yourself on the side of the road due to engine troubles or accident and you need a tow, you'll be glad to have it. I'm Chad Stevens of Chad Stevens Record Service. It's 662-755-8645. We're here 24-7. I'm proud to say that AAA has ranked Chad Stevens Record Service one of the best in the entire country. Why? We have high ethical standards. We're prompt and efficient. So keep my number in your phone, 662-755-8645. That's Chad Stevens Record Service. Since 2007, Bill and Lynn Coleman have been sending the smell of perfectly cooked steaks wafting through Benton, courtesy of Coleman Steakhouse. Start your weekend off the right way by heading that direction and enjoying a perfectly cooked ribeye, filet, pork chop, or anything on their menu, including burgers, chicken, or catfish. Why not make your steak dinner a surf and turf by adding shrimp? Go Raiders from everyone at Coleman Steakhouse on Highway 16 in Benton. and more a retail shop for decor it's all at Coors Country Market in Denton they have vegetables seasonal plants and gifts and they bring in new inventory every week for all of your deer processing needs it's the Rack Shack both businesses are family owned and operated and they take great pride in giving you the best experience you can ask for when you walk through their door go Raiders from everyone at Gore's Country Market and the Rack Shack
Hannah's Appliances, Yazoo City's only full-time appliance store. They offer both new and pre-owned appliances from refrigeration and gas and electric ranges to laundry products, dishwashers, and over-the-range microwaves. Their motto, the customer's rule. They're here to serve and meet the needs of the consumers in Yazoo City and the surrounding areas. Go Benton Academy Raiders from everyone at Hannah's Appliance, located at 411 South Industrial Parkway. The Benton Academy Booster Club is proud to support all Benton Academy athletics. They are proud to have teamed up with loyal Raider fans raising funds for, among other things, weight room equipment for boys and girls sports, new scoreboards, and a new time clock on the football field. If you're interested in becoming a member of the Booster Club or would like to donate to help with any future projects involving athletics at Benton, contact the high school. Go Raiders from the Benton Academy Booster Club. Club. I'm going to give you a phone number because if you ever find yourself on the side of the road due to engine troubles or accident and you need a tow, you'll be glad to have it. I'm Chad Stevens of Chad Stevens Record Service. It's 662-755-8645. We're here 24-7. I'm proud to say that AAA has ranked Chad Stevens Record Service one of the best in the entire country. Why? We have high ethical standards. We're prompt and efficient. So keep my number in your phone, 662-755-8645. That's Chad Stevens Record Service. Since 2007, Bill and Lynn Coleman have been sending the smell of perfectly cooked steaks wafting through Benton, courtesy of Coleman Steakhouse. Start your weekend off the right way by heading that direction and enjoying a perfectly cooked ribeye, filet, pork chop, or anything on their menu, including burgers, chicken, or catfish. Why not make your steak dinner a surf and turf by adding shrimp? Go Raiders from everyone at Coleman Steakhouse on Highway 16 in Benton. And more, a retail shop for decor. It's all at Coors Country Market in Denton. They have vegetables, seasonal plants, and gifts, and they bring in new inventory every week. For all of your deer processing needs, it's the Rack Shack. Both businesses are family owned and operated, and they take great pride in giving you the best experience you can ask for when you walk through their door. Go Raiders from everyone at Coors Country Market and the Rack Shack. Hannah's Appliances, Yazoo City's only full-time appliance store. They offer both new and pre-owned appliances from refrigeration and gas and electric ranges to laundry products, dishwashers, and over-the-range microwaves. Their motto, the customer's rule. They're here to serve and meet the needs of the consumers in Yazoo City and the surrounding areas. Go Benton Academy Raiders from everyone at Hannah's Appliance, located at 411 South Industrial Parkway. Right, here we go for the high school game. Start lineup for the high school boys. Ben Academy, number one, Clayton Saxton. Number two, Bryce Abel. Number five, Garrett Vandiver. 21, Austin Nichols. Number 11, Colin Washington. Now for your home team. Uh, St. Al Flashes. Number 11, Anthony McLeod. Number 2, Carson Henderson. Number 10, Siler Lambiet. 24, Carter Henderson. 14, Lakin Bradley.
What do you think the boys' game is going to be like? Brian? I don't know. <laughs> It's going to be like, they go that way and shoot it, and they go that way and shoot it, huh? <laughs> Gary Vandiver and Carter Hudson, uh, Henderson, I'm sorry, jump ball, and it goes to the Raiders. So here we go, the Raiders set up the offense. Washington shoots a three-pointer. Bam! That's the way to start it off right there. Coming down the court. Number 11 takes it in for the shot. No good. That's Anthony McLeod. Back down the court. The Raiders come. No good. They get fouled. Let's see, get fired by number 14, Lake and Bradley. Gonna send uh, Bryce Abels to the line. Shooting two, first one, no good. Abels gets set for the second shot. It's good. Pulls him up by four. All pass. Yeah, looks like we may have a foul here on the Raiders. On number two, Bryce Abels. Number 10. So the flash has the ball, flashes. Dribbles around, shoots, gets packed by Lawson Nichols. Washington brings it all the way down, shoots the layup, misses. Uh-oh. 14 got the rebound. Stolen by Washington, put it up. Misses, 14 got the rebound as itself. Brought it all the way down the court and scored two points. 14 of Lake and Bradley. Lawson Nichols, shot, gets tipped. Vatterberg gets the rebound, puts it up. No good. Flash is bringing down number 10, Salah Lambioti. I think that's how you say it. Shoots for two, ties it up. I have not started the clock, my bad. I'll get it down there. Abels takes it in. Gonna be a foul on number two there. That is Carson Henderson. Saxon takes it in, has a dish it back out. Washington. Looks like we got three seconds in the lane right there. So we'll be flashing the ball. Flash is bringing down the court. Ten takes it all the way in. No good. Rebounded by Vandiver. Colin Washington takes it in for the layup. Two points. Number 11 takes it all the way in. That's Anthony McLeod for the two points. And he makes it. And be shooting and one. That was on number five, Vandiver. And shot was good. Puts him up by one. Right to bring another ball. Trailing by one. He was a little head fake shoot, and he's going to get fouled by number 14. Lake and Bradley. We're sending Bryce Abel to the line, shooting two. Let's 
Bradley's second foul. Able shoots the first one. Nothing but net. Ties it up. Got a little stroke. Second shot is good. Put the Raiders back up by one. Oh, deflected by Saxon. Oh, called a walk. I think his feet did slide a little bit. But that's all right. Pass. Number two takes it all the way in. That's Carson Henderson for two points. Put the flashes back up by one. Nichols takes the shot and misses. Number three takes it down. Uh oh, what do we have down here? What happened? A walk or something? I don't see a foul coming up. The Raiders got the ball. I don't know what happened. Must have been a walk or something. But it wasn't a foul. Call a walk again. That's a that's a walk I'm telling you I've been they've been calling. I didn't really see that one too much. But that's why they get paid and I don't. Flash is bring down the court. 24 is going to take the shot. Uh, it rolls in for two. That is Carter Henderson. Washington takes it in for the shot. No good. Rebounded by Anthony McLeod. Looking for some help. He got it. Ah, uh, it's going to be a reach on Bryce Abels right there. Number two. The flashes throw it in. Number three, Carson Glees is in the game now. Takes the shot, and it's good for two. Put the flashes up by five. Stolen by McLeod. Takes all the way down for the layup, and the basket is good. Good job by McLeod there, number 11. Shot, oh, well, the only shot by McLeod is and one. It's good. Ah. Uh, going to be a foul on number 10. Uh, Sadler Lembioti. Washington bring it down for the Raiders. Out to Abel. Abel drives it in. Stolen by McLeod. Tries to get a long pass down the court. Just a little too long, though. Let it receiver just a little too far. Vatterman throws it in. Underneath, Clayton Saxon shoots and misses. Gets his own rebound. And it looks like a foul on number 11, McLeod. Raiders will be throwing it in in front of the own goal. Nope, that's five foul. So Saxon will be shooting. 
We need to make these. Perfect. Saxon gets one more shot. And it's good. Raise them within six. That's going to be a foul. Number 11, Colin Washington. Got it for a reach, he says. He's going to send McLeod to the line. That's Washington's first foul. First shot is no good. McLeod will be shooting one more. Good shot. Good. Put them back up by seven. Call of travel. So the flash will be thrown in on side. Rebound by number four, Walker Lambiotti, for the two points. Washington takes it in for the shot and falls short, out of bounds. So the flashes bring it back down the court. Inside of number four, he shoots. There's no good, but he drew the foul. Who was it on? On number five, Gary Bannerman, the second foul. Sending Walker Lambiotti to the line. First shot. Ooh, no good. Got some subs coming in. Lambiotti gets set for his second shot. It is good. Put them up by 10. Watch it, bring it down for the Raiders. Trying to get it inside. Got a jump ball there. Going to be the flash of ball. I'll take it down the court. All the way down the middle, number two takes it in. Carson Henderson for the two points. Four, Walker Lambiotti. We'll send Colin Washington to the line. Shooting free throw. First shot. A little long with a little back iron. Second shot. Net. Oh, deflected by Washington. He takes it in. He misses. Rebounded by number three, Carson Gleese. Shot by number two, misses. Saxon gets the rebound. And says he carries the ball. 
he couldn't tell, decide whether they wanted to pass it or not. Going to the game now, I'm 13, Peyton McGlone. Number one takes it all the way in, shoots. And it looks like he drew a foul. That is Corey Sims. Number 15, that's his first foul. That's White. First shot by Sims is good. Number 15, White Nichols. First foul. Second shot from Sims is good as well. Right to bring down left and a minute. Long three pointer by Abel's is no good. Peyton McGlone gets the ball and stolen. That's going to call a walk right there. A walking violation on Henderson. He was going to bring it down. Shot. Short. Rebounded by Henderson. Looks like a foul right there. On number two, Bryce Abel probably. Yep, that's his third foul. Sending Carson Gleaves to the line. Shooting two. First one is perfect. Take shot from Glees. It is perfect as well. Shot. Oh, no good. Rebounded by number three, Glees. Glees shoots. No good. And that will be the end of the first period, 26 and 11. Flashes. We'll be right back. The Benton Academy Booster Club is proud to support all Benton Academy athletics. They are proud to have teamed up with loyal Raider fans, raising funds for, among other things, weight room equipment for boys and girls sports, new scoreboards, and a new time clock on the football field. If you're interested in becoming a member of the Booster Club or would like to donate to help with any future projects involving athletics at Benton, contact the high school. Go Raiders from the Benton Academy Booster Club. Club. I'm going to give you a phone number because if you ever find yourself on the side of the road due to engine troubles or accident and you need a tow, you'll be glad to have it. I'm Chad Stevens of Chad Stevens Record Service. It's 662-755-8645. We're here 24-7. I'm proud to say that AAA has ranked Chad Stevens Record Service one of the best in the entire country. Why? We have high ethical standards. We're prompt and efficient. So keep my number in your phone, 662-755-8645. That's Chad Stevens Record Service. Right, here we go. We'll start the second quarter. Ready to get the ball first. Saxon shoots. And it's good for two. Gets it inside. Number 24 takes it up. No good. Rebounded by... Patterson is on the floor. <laughs> they were fighting for it. Oh, timeout red. Okay, well, let's hear from our boss. We'll be right back. Since 2007, 
Bill and Lynn Coleman have been sending the smell of perfectly cooked steaks wafting through Benton, courtesy of Coleman Steakhouse. Start your weekend off the right way by heading that direction and enjoying a perfectly cooked ribeye, filet, pork chop, or anything on their menu, including burgers, chicken, or catfish. Why not make your steak dinner a surf and turf by adding shrimp? Go Raiders from everyone at Coleman Steakhouse on Highway 16 in Benton. Time tree the other day. All right. Ready to go bring it down the court. Patterson takes in shoot. Good shot right there by Patterson. Shot by Gleese. And the bank is open. Oh, I think that was a three-point shot. My bad. I'll tell you what, let me do this. Give it to him like that. That's the way it's supposed to look. Lawson Nichols takes it in and he gets fouled. Lawson Nichols will be shooting now. Foul on number two, Carson Henderson. That's his second foul. Nichols, a little strong. Got some back iron. Second shot. No good. Rebounded by Flashes. Tries to get away down the court. Knocked out of bounds by Saxon. Good hustle. <laughs> That's okay. It happened so fast. I told him what happened. It was knocked out of bounds by Saxon. It was a long pass. Inside of number 24 shoot, and it's good. That is Carter Henderson. Outside, Clayton Saxon takes a long three pointer, and it's good. What do you know, Wayne? <laughs> In and out. What happened there? I think we must have got a foul. Number 15, that's White uh, Nichols. That's his second foul. Sending uh, Corey Sims to the line. Made both of them a while ago. Oh, first one is off just a little bit. Second shot, no good. Got his own rebound, throws it back in. What a play. Shot by McLeod, no good. Knocked out of bounds, so it'll be the Raiders' ball. Loose ball. Sims takes it to the goal and makes two points. Raiders take it back down. Ah, uh, here we go. Gonna go off the leg of the flashes, so out of bounds, beat the Raiders ball. Got a couple subs coming in for the Raiders. Inbound play. Three point by Bryce. That was no good. It's called a travel. A travel violation. Raider will get on the side. Now to get up on their own goal, my bad. Brings it over the head fake. Brings it around. Oh. 
Got to travel on Saxton. So the Flashes will be getting the ball back. Throw it into McLeod. Cloud takes it all to the goal. Deflected by Saxon. Gets his own rebound. McLeod does and puts it up for two. Good job by McLeod right there. Good heads up play. Ah, try to get it inside to Washington. Gets stolen. Flashes, bring it down. McLeod takes it all the way in. Shooting, no good. Lost to Nichols, gets the rebound. Washington takes it in for two. Shot by Glees, no good. Rebounded by Sims, he puts it up. And it's good for two. Shot by Abels, no good. Rebounded by Glees. Sims takes it in for the layup. Two more points. Uh, we're going to have a timeout. We'll be right back. and more a retail shop for decor it's all at Coors Country Market in Denton they have vegetables seasonal plants and gifts and they bring in new inventory every week for all of your deer processing needs it's the Rack Shack both businesses are family owned and operated and they take great pride in giving you the best experience you can ask for when you walk through their door go Raiders from everyone at Coors Country Market and the Rack Shack All right, the Raiders are going to bring it down. Nichols shoots a three. No good. Rebounded by McLeod. Pass off to Glees. Glees is going to take it all away for two. No, it didn't fall in, but it did draw a foul. Trying to see, trying to see who the first one is. No good. They never did put that file up there. I want to say that was on Vandiver. Yep, that's his third foul. So Glees will shoot his second free throw now. And rolls in, forty to twenty now. Marsh is going to bring it down, set it up for the Raiders. Skip pass to Saxon. Oh, tries to get it underneath. The Washington stolen by Sim. And knocked out of bounds by Washington. Oh, good hustle by Washington there. Yeah, that's a good hustle by Washington. For the Raiders to get the ball back. Nice hustle by Colin Washington. And they're going to call a walk on him. Whew. If you slide that foot, they're going to call it. Some of them will let you get away with a little bit, but 
They ain't letting you get away with none. See that? That's what I'm talking about. I mean, they call it both ways. If you move, if you slide that foot, they're going to call it. Knocked out of bounds. By number 14, good hustle by Lake and Bradley. They just throw it in. Gonna be a foul on uh, Gleason. No, Glees. Carson Glees, number three. That's his first foul. <coughs> Knocked out of bounds by the flashes. The Raiders ball. Throwing in upon his own goal. What we doing some skip passes right there, long passes. Good pass right there. And he makes the bucket. Bucket is good. That's a foul on number one. Clayton Saxton. That's his first foul. Says number four, Walker Lam Lambioti. To the line, shooting. The and one, that's no good. Flash will come back with it. Then we had a walk. So the Raiders get the ball. Brian, I guess, didn't nobody want to hear you on the mic or didn't nobody text me? <laughs> the pass by Saxon. Able shoot, no good. Rebound by Vanover. Shot by Washington, no good. Rebound by number four, Walker Lambioti. Ah, it's going to be a reaching foul. On Bryce Abels, that's his fourth foul. He better slow down a little bit. Going into the game to give him a little break. Going to be number 13, Peyton McCall. Shot by number two. No good. We batted by Colin Washington. What do we have here? Oh, a foul by number four. Foul on number four there, Walker Lambioti. There's a second foul. Vanner tries to get it in to Lawson Nichols. Lost ball. Shot by McLeod, three-pointer, and it is good. Stolen by McLeod. Takes it in for another two points. We got a timeout. Raiders, we'll be right back. Hannah's Appliances, Yazoo City's only full-time appliance store. They offer both new and pre-owned appliances from refrigeration and gas and electric ranges to laundry products, dishwashers, and over-the-range microwaves. Their motto, the customer's rule. They're here to serve and meet the needs of the consumers in Yazoo City and the surrounding areas. Go Benton Academy Raiders from everyone at Hannah's Appliance, located at 411 South Industrial Parkway.
The Benton Academy Booster Club is proud to support all Benton Academy athletics. They are proud to have teamed up with loyal Raider fans raising funds for, among other things, weight room equipment for boys and girls sports, new scoreboards, and a new time clock on the football field. If you're interested in becoming a member of the Booster Club or would like to donate to help with any future projects involving athletics at Benton, contact the high school. Go Raiders from the Benton Academy Booster Club. Club. I'm going to give you a phone number because if you ever find yourself on the side of the road due to engine troubles or accident and you need a tow, you'll be glad to have it. I'm Chad Stevens of Chad Stevens Record Service. It's 662-755-8645. We're here 24-7. I'm proud to say that AAA has ranked Chad Stevens Record Service one of the best in the entire country. Why? We have high ethical standards. We're prompt and efficient. So keep my number in your phone, 662-755-8645. That's Chad Stevens Record Service.
Since 2007, Bill and Lynn Coleman have been sending the smell of perfectly cooked steaks wafting through Benton, courtesy of Coleman Steakhouse. Start your weekend off the right way by heading that direction and enjoying a perfectly cooked ribeye, filet, pork chop, or anything on their menu, including burgers, chicken, or catfish. Why not make your steak dinner a surf and turf by adding shrimp? Go Raiders from everyone at Coleman Steakhouse on Highway 16 in Benton. Back to St. Isle here, where the Raiders are playing the Flashes. We're down 49-20, about to start the third quarter. Mm. Looks like the Flashes will have the ball. Starting out third quarter. Possession arrow pointing that way. Here we go, third quarter on the way. 16 minutes left to go in the game. Stolen by Clayton Saxton. And he gets fouled. Was that I call it a foul or what was that? Oh, I think so. I didn't ever see it come up. I was in my call. That's on number two, Carson Henderson. It's out of bounds. <laughs> Patterson slapped it all the way across the court, back out of bounds. But it's still a good hustle. I like the hustle. I like the intensity. Inside the number 24 right there. Good job by Carter Henderson. Two points. Kick ball right there. Bit of Raider ball on the side here. Patterson tries to shoot and get packed by number 24, Carter Henderson. And they're going to call it a walk. Patterson got his ball back. And they called a walk on him. Number two passes off to uh, Henderson. I mean, Henderson passes off to number... Oh, that's... Oh, brother to brother. Okay. Lawson Nichols takes it in. Shot is no good. Get it all the way down the court. Number two shoot. No good. Number three gets the rebound shoots. And I believe he draws a foul. That's Carson Glees. He has two shots here. First shot. Good. And he gets set for his second shot. From Glees. It's good. Saxon's going to take a shot. It's off. Rebound by number 10. And the ball is out of control. Kicked by the white team. You can't kick a basketball. So it'll be the Raiders ball. Uh oh. Clock ain't stopping. Oh, man. Let me get my clock right. Shot by number 24, no good. 
He gives it back to him. Puts in left hand and did it good at that time. That's number 24, Carter Henderson. Siler Lembioti with the assist. Oh, that. <laughs> And one. <laughs> oh, Lord. That foul's on number three. Carson Glees, that's his second foul. Washington shoots to and one. It's no good. Rebound by Glees. They're going to take it down fast. And uh, I, I couldn't tell which one of them young men just made that one. I guess I'm looking off. Washington shoots for two is good. Jump ball. It will be the Raiders ball. point a while ago. Who? Colin Washington. I was trying to get my clock. When I get that one o'clock, that kind of messed me up. I was trying to get my clock back right. Huh? <laughs> Clayton Saxon with the shot. Three-pointer, no good. Patterson with the rebound. Puts it up, no good. Sims comes down with the rebound. Um, step on the line over here on the out of bounds line. So it'll be the Raiders ball right here on the side. Saxon throws it into Washington. Got a travel violation on the Raiders. <laughs> you to watching it? You get to watching it, is it easy to mess up? Flashes take it down. McLeod puts it up for two points. Washington bring it down for the Raiders. Nickel shoots. No good. Rebound by McLeod. Dishes it out to Sims. Sims going to take it down. Passes off to number four, Walker Lambioti, for two points. Washington shoots a three. No good. Rebounded by number 20, Mason Harris. Number four, Walker Lambiote with two more points. Three point shot by Saxton. No good. He follows his shot and gets the rebound. Gets into Patterson. Patterson takes it up. And we got a jump ball. It will be the Flash's ball. Possession there pointing that way. 
about 22 seconds left to go in the third period. Stolen by Lawson Nichols. Patterson throws it in to Nichols. Uh, he shoots and he draws a foul. So he will get two shots. That foul's on number 11, I think he said. Yep. Anthony McLeod, his second foul. So that is the end of the third, but he will get his two shots. Oh, first one in and out. No good. Second one is good. Now we'll have a third. We'll be right back. going to be the Raiders ball. We'll have a run in fourth quarter. Bryce Hayes back into the game. Loose ball. Still loose ball. Goes out of bounds for the Raiders. Did you get all that? Vatimer, I thought he was going to shoot that three-pointer. He's a three-point shooter. Vatimer puts it up, no good. Rebound by number 23, Rishon Patel. Shot by number five. No good. Uh, let's see who comes down. Vatimer comes down with the rebound. Rebound stolen by number 23. He shoots. No good. Saxon gets the ball, takes it down, pulls it up for the jumper, and with a travel violation. <laughs> What hell? You take your hand off the camera, you forget. <laughs> That's a shot. No good. Rebounded by number 20, Mason Harris. I don't think nobody's going to jump up there and get that one. Coming into the game now, Slade Lions, number 25. Nobody can jump. Brian, get a close up of the ball. Brian, get a, get a, get a close up. Yeah. The ball is stuck up. Behind the goal. All right, Bryce Lake, we're going to bring it down the court. Shot. Oh, no good, Peyton McGlone. Got a jump ball. And it's going to be going to be the, the Flash's ball. They couldn't make the mind of who it was. Shot. 
Shot by number five, blocked by Peyton McClellan. Knocked out of bounds by the Raiders. Still the flashy ball. Trying to get it inside the Slade Lions. Stolen by Vandiver. And foot on the line, so it'll be the flashy ball again. Got a push by number 13, Peyton McGlone. A good hustle, good hustle. I like the hustle. I like the intensity. It's his first foul. Flash to get it in. Uh-oh, stole him. Uh, there's a loose ball. Here we go, the Flash has come up with it. He shoots, no good. Down the court. <laughs> Bryce Hayward misses. Rebound by Vandermeer. He puts it in for two. And my cameraman just barely did get it. <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention. Number 15 takes a shot. No good. Rebounded by number 20, Mason Harris. Stolen by Peyton McGlone. Vanderbilt's going to take it down for the layup, and it's good. <laughs> Number five, Trey Lee bringing it down. Try to get it inside. Vanderbilt steals it. Takes it down for the layup. And they're going to get fouled, I believe, on the floor. They said it was on the floor, I think. That's on number 15, Ryan Sykes. His first foul. Rice able to wide open for the three-pointer. No good. He's trying to get it back. Stolen by Peyton McGlone. Good job right there. Takes in for the layup, misses. Bryce able to get it. Rebound, shoots, misses. Stolen by Vativer. Able takes in for a layup. Pass in, stolen by Saxton. Saxton takes all the way in for the layup, misses. Number 25, shoot. Goes out of bounds. The Slade Lions. He just got in a hurry. Peyton McGlone shoot, and it's good for two. Trey Lee's going to bring it down for the flashes. And we're going. <laughs> you get it on camera? No, I missed it. Here we go. Oh, almost made it in. And we're going to have a foul right there on Mason Harris. Bryce Abel will be going to the line, shooting two. First one for Abel is good. Got a shooter roll. Second one is no good. Knocked out of bounds by the flashes. The Raiders will have the ball in front of their own goal. They better hurry up. Got right at 30 seconds. And the Vativer. Vativer shoots. No good.
Bryce Abel steals the ball. Trying for a long pass. Abel pulls it up, shoot. No good. Lawson Nichols with the ball. Gad Vanderbilt wants him a three pointer. Ooh, no good. <laughs> Peyton McLaughlin takes it up for two more points at the end of the game right there. 38 65. Congratulations to the St. Aloysius Flashes on a great game right there. I want to thank all of our sponsors for making this possible. I want to thank St. Al for having us. And I believe next Thursday might be the next game. Until then, this is Mark Saxon, and I am out.